Hey, happy, happy, it's your boy, Mr. CJU, Mr. Critical Soul. You see me in my CJU gear dripping. Yeah, man, make sure y'all catch some of this merch coming soon. And what I want to let y'all know is we're going to make learning about credit and business fun and cool because we are cool. And I just want to let y'all know that, hey, man, you don't have to be something you're not or somebody you're not just to learn this game just like I did. You can learn this knowledge, apply it, and be successful at it. You don't have to change who you are, man. We're going to have a good time learning about this credit and business. So what we're going to talk about today is something that is very important that I get a lot of questions about. It's how to properly pay your credit card bills so that it can positively affect your credit score. Okay? So the first thing we got to know is the difference between your due date and your statement date. Okay? So how many people know the difference between those two? Raise your hand. How many people know? How many people actually know what their statement date is on their current credit card? How many people know? That's a big deal. So I'll go ahead and explain it now. If you don't know, it's okay. If you stay on to the whole video, watch the full video, I give you a bonus to CJU way on how you can finesse the credit bureaus with this strategy. It's the proper way to do it. So let's go into it. The definitions, okay? A due date on your credit card. That is the date that you need to pay your balance to avoid a late payment, okay? And you need to know that you need to at least make the minimum amount on that payment and then you'll be good, okay? So we understand what the due date is. Now the statement date is usually about four or five, six days after the due date, okay? So the statement date is where whatever balance is left over after the due date that you didn't pay or with just whatever it is, that's what's gonna get reported to the credit bureau. That's why that statement date is important that a lot of people don't know about. And you gotta go in and look at your, either you got an app or when they send you the mail, you gotta go in and find that statement date because that is very important. That's what's getting reported to the credit bureau. So I get so many people say, hey man, I, I paid my credit card bill uh, uh, and I gotta wait till it updated. It just ain't updated yet, you know? and and. And you know, the utilization is high, but they pay the betters off in full and they get no love from the credit bureaus and they trying to figure out why. That's because you don't understand the statement date and why this is very important just as much as the due date. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick an example so you can understand why we're gonna do it today. Yeah, the JIT way, CJU way, man, the real cool way. So check this out. Check this out. Let me get my markers together. Okay. So let's say car number one, let's just use car number one. Okay, let's say you got a credit limit of $1,000, okay? Let's say you got a balance of, let's say, $400, okay? Let's say your minimum payment is $50. Let's just say $50. Let's do some easy numbers, right? Okay, now your due date on this card, let's say it's the first. Let's just do D, um, D, uh, let's say the first. Okay, now your statement date, let's say, is uh, the sixth, the sixth of the month, right? So, you got this, this, this is an example we wanna use. So let's say the first hit, you got $400 on you, and you like, man, I ain't trying to buck that fool. <laughs> I ain't trying to buck that full amount, man. I ain't, I'm trying to hang on to this $400. I ain't really trying to buck it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pay that minimum that minimum amount, man, and just be good, which is cool. Which you, can, you can do that if you want to do that. So, 50, so you make the $50 payment, right? So now you take 50 from the 400. Now your new balance is 350, right? So if you let that fit 350 and you don't make any more payments, when the sixth hit, What's gonna get reported to the credit bureau? The 350, right? So with a thousand dollar credit limit, with a three hundred fifty dollar balance getting reported to the credit bureaus, you're where? What is that math? We had thirty five percent, right? You had thirty five percent. Now, it's not terribly bad, but we know what the average is. Y'all watched the last videos, and you been getting some information on this credit game. You know you need to be under what? Thirty percent utilization. 
So if you're at 35, you're already five percent over. You want to be a little lower than that, you know. So now you're at 35 percent. That's what's getting reported to the credit bureaus. That's why your credit kind of is okay. It's average. It's iffy or whatever. So you you want to do better than that. And there's a way you can do that. So let's say you do it the proper way, the CJU way. Let's just say we just do a line here. Let's just say the first come back around, but you do it you do it the right way before this. Let's say. You listen and you pay the full balance. You pay the full 400. Go ahead and take it out your pocket. Because remember, like I told y'all, stop acting like when you pay your balance off in full with your credit card, the money is gone, it's disappeared. No, it's just back on the card. These are revolving accounts. You can use it again. So let's say that you do it the CJU way, the right way. Now you're the first hit and you pay it off so you got the balance of zero. Zero dollars, you know? So the sixth hit, we drop down. Zero again, cool. 400 gone on your pockets a little tight, but you didn't pay it off. So when the sixth hit, the credit bureau is gonna see zero dollars. So what's gonna to happen to your utilization? It does what? Go down. So when your utilization go down, what happens to your credit score? Goes up. Because that's what the credit bureau is gonna see. Like, oh, he paid this stuff in food, perfect. Now, this is what we telling you, the CJU way. Guess what happened when the seventh hit? <laughs> this is what I get excited about. We can always use me, you get to run it up. This is my favorite part. When the seventh hit, and you know your pockets tell you still need that 400, you go ahead and run it back up. The seventh hit, the credit bureaus think it's a zero, but you can run that, you can run that amount back up to 400, what you needed. But according to the credit bureaus, it's zero, so you're good. So basically what you did is you pulled a finesse move, put $400 balance back on the credit card, and the credit bureaus don't even know. Mm-hmm, credit bureaus don't even know. You got them. Now, nah, let's say you need a cash or something like that, okay? Cool. There's ways to take turn credit into cash. You can slide it right over. It's all good. So, with this quick strategy of understanding your due date and your payment date, you just saved your credit score and allowed it to go increase, and then you really didn't hurt yourself in your pockets because you still got access to the money. It, 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 it's, that, it's that simple. You, you won two ways. Now, you know how we do it at CJU. That's just one card, though. Let's, let's just go over. That's just, that's, just, that's just one card. So, card number one, let's just say right now we're at the seventh right now. The card number one, we're at the seventh, and you got a four hour balance. Let's say you got another card. Say, uh, card number two. Card number two. Let's say uh, the due date, the due date on this one is the same credit limit, though. Let's just say you got another $1,000 credit limit. That's not a credit limit. But this one, you've been chilling. You ain't got no balance on it. Because yeah. the other example would be if that was just one card. So let's just say you got now you got multiple cards. Now you done leveled up. So this balance is zero. You was only working that other one. So how we do it, we, we run up the card. We, we get it all. So we're going to have multiple cards. And when you have multiple cards, you can have some on standby. So you got this one armed and ready on standby. Zero balance, right? So let's say the due date on this one is uh let's say the 12th right let's say the statement date is let's say the 16th let's say 17th because it varies on cars sometimes i've seen some cars on the four days from the due date some five it varies so let's let's say this was on the 17th right so the first car you still got the balance of 400 even though it's a thousand dollar limit now we don't want to act the fool on the cards Right? We don't want to maximize. That's what we want to stay away from. You was already at 35%, 40%, so you want to hold it there. You don't want to max it out. You want to slide over to the other card. Now, I'll give you an example to my hustlers out there. It's no different than if you got four zips, right? Which is a QP. Now, you know if you got four zips, you know what I mean? You know you got to sell them to get you some profit, but you know you want to smoke. So what you do? You take a gram out one of those zips. You know, you smoke a gram, you smoke two grams. You be like, all right, that's all the grams. I'm gonna smoke at that zip because I gotta make some money. So what you do is uh, you take your smoke out of that one and you slide over your cell So what you do, that next zip slide over, you're gonna take your little gram or two out of that one, smoke it, and then whatever, then you're gonna, you're gonna slide over. You ain't gonna run it up. What I'm saying is you're not gonna smoke the whole zip, right? Because you gotta make some money off of it. The same thing with credit cards, it's no different. You ain't gonna, if you max out the credit card, you ask that. If you smoke the whole zip, you ask that. So you park it right there and you slide over to the other one. 
See what I'm saying? So you got 400 debt, you stop there. So if the balance is zero, the due date is the 12th. Don't, don't, just leave it at, just leave it at zero so you ain't gotta pay nothing. So when the statement they hit on that second one, the 17th, leave it at zero. So guess what? When the statement date on this second car hit, it's gonna be zero. Cool, the banks can't, the credit bros, to their standards, you ain't paid nothing. All right, so guess what happens again? <clears throat> Here's you go here. They just say the 18th. When the 18th hit, what you can do? Run up for, let's just say you run up 400 again. You run up, you run up $400 again, right? So you haven't, you only paid off your other one, so you ain't even using no cash yet, cause you didn't want to use, you didn't want to um, get yourself into no debt with your cash, so you just put $400 on the other card. So let's say you got bills or something. I'm just using 400 example. You just have to pay something, pay a little gas here, you have to make a few little payments here and there. So now you got a whole nother run on this one, and you ain't got to pay this one back to what? The next 30 days. So as the dates go by. The 19th, the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, you good. You good, So you, you, cause you was using this one. But remember, car number one, the due date is the first. And you got that $400 you ran up on that other card. So you need to pay that one off by the statement date. So the credit bureaus can see zero, zero uh, balance on it. But you good because you was using this one. You was putting your expenses on this one. So guess what happens? We go back to car number one here. We go back to car number one here. Cause let's just say as the, as the dates went over, now we're on to the next month. Now we're over to the next month and now we're gonna have zero on, let me go back, I forgot what day I used, the six. We got the zero, zero balance on the six, but you got the 400 left on this one. This is what you expensing on, right? So you good. Cause you paid this one off. So you got all the way to what? The next month on this one too. And then you got all the way to the next month, 16, 17, 18 to pay this one off. So I know it's a, it, it can sound confusing. There's a lot of stuff going flipping and flopping with all these cards. You just watch it over again and you'll peep game. But I, what I want y'all to understand is it's no different than where you flipping and flopping your other hustling. If you can sit time, if you can sit down and study how you flipping and flopping and hustling your other moves, you can study this. Ain't no different when you women. How y'all flipping and flopping your dudes? You use this dude on, on the beginning of the month, you be using this dude on the end of the month. Ain't no different. Ain't no damn different. You know what I mean? So you good here and you come back on the 18th and you pretty much pay this one off and you can yank them back and forth like that. So basically the whole point is with two cards, with two cards with just only 400 bucks, y'all get more money on y'all checks. Y'all get more money than hustling. I can show you how you can make $400 revolve over and over without even putting yourself in some debt. With the credit bureau seeing this zero dollar balance helping your credit score. And you're not even hurting your pockets because you're not spending your cash, you're only spending the lines of credit and then you're paying them back using the line of credit again. And this is an example with only two cards. So just imagine if you had three cards, four cards, five cards that are just sitting there ready for emergency purposes. They could be business purposes. They could be for it, whatever you need to leverage yourself. But if you just understand a due date and a statement date, you would know exactly when you need to put your cash up to save your credit score. And when you are able to use your lines of credit to help you and leverage yourself moving forward. It's just a game you gotta learn. You'll get more of it right here in the CJU. Watch the video over again. Ask any questions, holla at your boy. This is how we flipping and finessing the credit bureaus the right way, the legit way, the legal way. It's your boy, Mr. CJU. Hap, hap. Hey, so after watching the video, if you was confused about anything and you have any questions, just comment below. Ask your questions. I try to shoot the videos as fast as I can and I make them so long. You know, so I know it can kind of be confusing sometimes it's your first time understanding this credit game. So just comment below, ask your questions. I'll be sure to get back to you and answer them because you really want to know this credit game because just the way we use that example, we can use a larger amount. It could be $10,000 and a $4,000 balance. It don't matter how you do it. So if you're confused, high level, low level, ask some questions, comment below. I'll get back to you.